Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about depression. This is the first video of depression and we will focus on the introduction to depression. Do you know? There are 350 million people from the whole world suffer from depression, which occupies 5% of the world's population. The people who suffer from depression often feel lonely, empty, excessive and tired. According the Oxford Dictionary, depression means feelings of severe despondency and dejection. Generally, depression is defined as disorders of mood rather than disturbances of thought or cognition. The number of symptoms occur helps to identify the type of depression. Here are nine main symptoms of depression. The first one is low mood or feeling down. Next, depression causes loss of interests or pleasure in most activities, even though that activity is his or her hobby. Depression can also cause fatigue or loss of energy. People suffer from depression may having problem with normal sleep patterns such as insomnia or hypersomnia. Their appetite or weight might increase or decrease. They will feel worthlessness, excessive or inappropriate guilt. Therefore they seldom involve in social activity. Another symptom of depression is psychomotor agitation or retardation. The people with depression may face difficulties in paying full attention to class or work and become indecisive. They may having recurrent thoughts of death or planning to suicide. So the family and friends should pay attention on any action done by the patient. The types of depression are classified according to the number of symptoms stated previously occur simultaneously. It includes subthreshold depressive symptoms, mild depression, moderate depression and severe depression. Monomin theory or monomin hypothesis is used to explain the causes of depression. It states that depression is due to the deficiency of monomin neurotransmitter especially norepinephrine, NE, and serotonin, 5-hydroxytryptamine. In a normal synapse, an impulse is sent to the presynapse and the vesicles release the monomin which is serotonin for here into the synapse. The receptors on the postsynapse receive the serotonin and transmit the impulse further. The serotonin reuptake is carried out after transmission completed. The output is almost the same as the input. For a person who suffer from depression, the monomen present in the presynapse is less than that in normal person, hence less serotonin is released into the synapse and the receptors are not fully occupied. Therefore, the impulse transmitted out is less than that transmitted in. In other words, the output is less than the input. The serotonin is then reuptake by presynapse. We will discuss about antidepressive drug in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video.